Hey, Mark Warnke here, packouts.com. Remember, um, you know, we have a heck of a YouTube channel with tons and tons of free resources, and we feel so lucky to be able to give that to all the people that need to know how to raise goats better. And we're going to talk about winter shelters. We're going to talk about what do you need to do to keep your goat comfortable and thriving in the winter when you have super cold temperatures. We're just barely mid December right now. Yesterday it was four, or t the last night, 14 to 15 degrees. Um, we'll get sub zero temperatures here. Um, and goats do really well in cold weather. People have a tendency to over fret about it. And I'm gonna show you strategies that are really simple to do that. Now I'll remind you that all things that you need to know about raising goats are available on packoats.com and courses. Courses like how to milk a goat and how to raise a baby and how to help a baby or how to help a goat have a baby. All those different things and they're super affordable. And then we have the Goat Club membership where you pay for an annual or a monthly membership and then you get everything all the courses at half price and you get 10 percent off everything on the site so it can really really be super handy um uh you know to have advantage of that so on so if you like that stuff click to subscribe like leave us a comment and help us out and become a member of the goat club and get some good information for yourself at the same time so here we go winter time stuff these shelters have been a godsend on this new property at Kimberlite Ranch. Um, they've worked awesome. The nice thing I like about it is I have a three-sided shelter, but I have an additional overhang. And the overhang allows for dry place for these guys to kind of hang out, look out, so they're not always stepping in the wet and the muck that always shows up in the winter. I can put a feeder underneath the front of it, and they have a nice dry place to eat. This ends up becoming a secondary shelter and a windbreak for the nervous goats. So here's what you need to make sure a goat is comfortable during the winter. Number one, feed it. If you have to feed one time a day, feed in the evening in the winter because when they're full of food in their belly, the process of rumination or a ruminant actually generates warmth. So a goat that's processing food is like an oven and he's cooking from the inside. So he'll keep himself warm if he has a full belly of food. So that's critical aspect number one. You wanna keep a goat warm at night, feed him. You know, he, he help, it'll help him to stay warm. The other thing is in here. Um, actually, let's go to this one over here. What I do is I like having one feeder that isn't quite as efficient at keeping waste down in the in the in the shelter itself so this shelter design which is standard in most goat operations is actually quite wasteful they they throw hay everywhere in this type of design versus ours which eliminates a lot of waste which is handy but also when you make a little bit of waste you're constantly creating bedding and with hay and straw being similarly priced it's nice to have kind of a regular influx of bedding. And what'll happen when a goat does that, he's gonna paw out a bed and he's, he's just like Thorn here. He's gonna be kind of in a little snuggle hole. And as, get out of here, loud chicken, get out of here. So he'll be in a little snuggle hole. And as this bedding builds up during the winter, the bedding will end up being about this deep by the end of the winter. And the bottom layer is actually fermenting. So it'll actually ferment. <laughs> this is a, by the way, this is a common thing that a goat does as a, this is a, a like a self-soothing behavior. So they'll, they, I'll, I'll commonly hear it, and this is normal. People will send this question to me that they'll just slightly click their head on something. And that's what Sergeant was doing. Um, it's a self-soothing behavior that they do, and they'll click their horn on something. It's, it's, it's quite common, actually. So anyway, back to winter shelter. What we'll do is we'll let, the, we'll let the bedding build up. If you're cleaning out your bedding during the winter all the time, then what you're doing is you're losing the ability to create fermentation. So it'll actually ferment. When you dig down into this, you will actually, during the winter, be able to dig down into this, and when it's cold, it'll steam. Yeah, so that's warm. So it actually creates warmth. And the deeper you go, the warmer it goes. So when these goats come in and paw out beds, it's actually what it's doing is, um, I'm saying fermenting, but it's uh, uh, composting, which is fermenting basically. So it, it cre it's creating its own composting thing. There's clicker again. 
Um, but then when they dig that bed, they're laying down into a really nice space that's dry because of the fresh bedding. But when they paw it out, there's actually a warm bed in there. So big, deep bedding, leave your bedding all winter long, let it build up, make sure they're full of food and quit fretting about your goats. That's what I would suggest. Make sure they're fed, make sure they have nice deep bedding, make sure they have three-sided shelter with the roof over their head so they're dry, the wind is off them. And I feel confident that people with healthy goats that have good feed, deep bedding, three-sided shelter can easily survive temperatures below 20 degrees below zero. They just can. So those of you that are getting down into the zeros and the fives and thinking you need a heating lamp and a goat coat and all that stuff, in my opinion, the only reason you need a coat for a goat is to keep it dry. Hope you find that helpful. Um, everything that you need, to learn how to be a good goat owner is on packgoats.com from the courses and the information and the goat club membership. Hope you find that helpful. Take care. Mark Warnke, the goat guy, signing out.